This is Dr. Catherine Dow reporting for Room Now. So I'm at the ACR 2020 Convergence Virtual Meeting. And I wanted to share with you um, an abstract that I thought was very fascinating because this might actually change your practice. This is abstract number 540. And this is a study by the Mayo Clinic. And they wanted to look for what is the incidence, not the prevalence, but the incidence of hydroxychloroquine associated retinopathy with a five milligram per kilogram per day dose. Now, if you remember in the past ACR, we had a great debate where Michelle Petrie was trying to argue for the fact that we really shouldn't be lowering our dose, right? Um, but the American Academy of Ophthalmology really wanted us to try to stay low just to prevent retinopathy. So what this study did was they took 540 patients who were taking hydroxychloroquine, mostly for rheumatoid arthritis or lupus. The average dose of these patients were 372 milligrams a day, where it's estimated to be approximately 4.8 milligram per kilogram per day. And these patients on average had been on the medicine for about 9.6 years. And so they explored them at five years, there was zero cases of retinopathy. And then at 10 years, there was a 2.5% rate. Now, if you remember, the American Academy of Ophthalmology in previous traditional studies had said that at the 6.5 milligram per kilogram dose, the one that Dr. Petrie had touted, it yielded at five years a 1% risk of retinopathy and a 10-year risk of 2% retinopathy. So here we have it, five milligrams per kilograms, 0% risk, but the 6.5 milligram per kilogram had a 1% risk. But at 10 years, it's like there's really no difference between the two. So what do you think you're gonna do? Um, for me, for sure, I think I'm just gonna keep my lupus patients at 6.5 milligrams per kilograms per day because this drug has been shown to decrease the risk of death, improve renal response, decrease thrombosis, improve pregnancy outcomes. I just really think that this is such a good drug and we need to be using our tools effectively. This is Dr. Catherine Dow. Continue to follow me on Twitter at KDow2011.